Hi guys and welcome back to Miss Clark Does Science. Today we're continuing with our 2.1 classification and biodiversity year 11 topic. We are near the end so just this video and the next one to go on this spec point. Today we're learning about the principles of capture and recapture techniques including some simple calculations on estimated population size. This particular point is a higher level point so if you're doing foundation paper for year 11 biology or science you do not need to know this video just move on to the next one okay but if you are doing higher then you do need to know what this is all about. So we're actually going to be describing this picture in a lot more detail so to make it a little bit bigger then so we have here some turtles okay this technique is for animals capturing and recapturing animals and we can estimate a population size of animals by marking animals releasing them back into the wild and then recapturing the same from the same area and then doing some maths to estimate population size so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten turtles that we are catching on day one okay on day two we have 10 turtles again and we'll talk about that in a minute and it says down here 10 individuals are marked on day one so we're going to investigate the population size of turtles we have caught 10 on our first day and we're going to mark them each with these red dots on their back okay we're going to mark them in reality they'd be a lot smaller than this okay then we're going to just release them back into the wild and wait and then on day two down here we're going to take 10 more turtles again and then we've got 10 turtles some of them uh, have the red dots and some of them don't which means that some of them we've caught once before in day one and some of them we haven't so of the 10 that were caught in day two it's saying this down here five of them are already marked with the red dot one two three four five so five were marked and one two three four five were not marked so half of the individuals here were marked and half weren't so we had ten marked here and five marked here and all we're going to do is input these numbers into the equation at the top of the page I stress this you do not need to memorize this you don't need to know it they will give it to you in the exam and if it's not in the question it will be on the equation sheet at the front of the exam refer to it please please do don't think you need to memorize these equations you don't so I'm going to put in the numbers so population size of these turtles equals the number in first sample times the number in the second sample and that's just the total numbers which for me was 10 and 10 so number in the first sample times the number in the second sample 10 times 10 divided by what so my last number is the number in the second sample that were previously marked and this for me was this number here this five because five of them were previously marked and were found again so we're going to divide by five so me personally because I'm not going to use a calculator I'm just going to do this in my head 10 times 10 is 100 100 divided by 5 equals 20 Therefore, I am estimating that there are 20 turtles in this environment. Okay, now the numbers might get strange, but ultimately you're just doing the same thing again. So one time you take a sample, next time you take a sample, and then you compare how many you caught that were marked. That's all. Now, just like with quadrats, we are making assumptions during our investigation. We are assuming that no changes happen and this could be due to death so the tur some of the turtles could die overnight and but we're assuming that none of that happens so it does have some flaws using this method we're also assuming that no immigration happens which for animals is much more likely than for plants and similarly with emigration out of the area maybe us coming in uh, scared them off and some of them left the area so we're not sure if that could have had an effect on the results and also we have to assume that the marking technique that we used provides no difference to the chance of survival because you've got to imagine if we're putting a massive red dot on a turtle the chances of it then being noticed by its predators could be higher and that could affect its death so we have to be careful when we're marking creatures that it's subtle um, and it's not going to affect their chance of survival and that's it for this spec point this higher spec point it wasn't that bad next time we're going to be finishing off this whole 2.1 topic with the use of biological control agents and possible issues surrounding it 